Hey you guys, I'm Lizzie. Uh, thank you for all of your questions this week. This is vlog number four. Uh, and I promised you guys that I would share some exciting news, which I will get to, but let's roll into the questions first. Okay, so uh, Rob asked, what's your favorite Clash album or song? Okay, well, I'm just kind of discovering the Clash at the moment, so I haven't listened to all of the albums yet. I know, sorry, child of the 80s. Um, so a lot of old music, I'm just kind of taking my time and, and getting to grips with um, and loving it, you know, loving listening to some old stuff, which is new to me. Um, but my favorite song so far would be London Calling. Um, I think it's cool. I really like the groove, interesting lyrics, great themes. Yeah, cool. I really like it. Um, okay, Gordon asked, will you make a CD of traditional Māori songs? I don't have any plans to. Um, don't get me wrong, I've loved performing and singing Tarakihi and Hewa Wata and Whakari and Mai and Papa and all the rest of them. Um, but I kind of feel like I've done what I can for now and yeah, I really love Māori music but I don't feel like I have anything to contribute right now and until I do feel like I've got something to contribute to Māori music, um, I don't think I should. You know, I think it's really important. Um, yeah, maybe it's just part of being Māori, but I feel like unless I've got something really, you know, important to say or communicate, then I probably shouldn't. So not in the near future, but maybe. You never know. Um, so Colin then asked, how do you keep your emotions under control when in full voice with a powerful emotional song? Well, you know, actually it's easier to keep your emotions in check when you're in full voice. <laughs> I know that sounds really silly, but... It's actually much harder, or I think so anyway, it's much harder to um, control your emotions when you're singing really quietly. You know, I think it's it's much more, it's actually more powerful. Um, how do I keep my emotions under control? Sometimes you don't really want to, you know, it's a kind of energy force. It depends on what the song means to you. Um, for me, I find that songs that I've written have a lot more meaning. It's sometimes harder to control my emotions when I'm singing them. Um, but yeah, it's it's an energy source that I wouldn't want to really cut off. So I sort of don't. <laughs> you know, I keep them in control enough so that I'm not going to be a blubbering mess on stage. <laughs> but other than that, um, no, I, I like, you know, songs are emotional. They should be. Um, Jim asked, Christmas album, USA Tour, please. I'd love that, <laughs> both of them. I'd love to come to the US, it'd be amazing. Um, and, and you guys know that I'd love to do a Christmas album at some point. Um, no immediate plans, I'm sorry, but hopefully sometime in the future, I'd love to get over there to see you guys and obviously to do this Christmas album. But you know, I, I can't really see that happening in the near future, but you never know. Um, now, my exciting news is that Next week, I am going to Sydney, and I'm going to finish off um, the first two songs for the next record, so this is like it, um, and there will be new music for you guys very soon, which I'm really excited about, and I really can't wait to share the whole thing with you. Um, and my other piece of exciting news is, you know how I talked to you guys a little while ago on Facebook about um, hypothetically... Um, putting up a, a demo from this whole songwriting journey over the last sort of 12 months. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be able to do that. So you guys are gonna have new music very, very soon and I can't wait. So yeah, thank you so much for all your questions and I'll keep in touch about the new music and let you know where you can find it, um, where you can stream it and then you'll have to let me know what you think. Okay guys, hope you've had a great week. Speak to you next week, see ya, bye.